Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from SophieLawson.com and this is another Most Wanted comic book covers video and what I do on these is I go through the previews comic shop catalogue and I pick out my favourite or well, my most wanted comic book covers and make it like a top 10. So this one is all about issue number 413 of the previews comic shop catalogue. Now that's the main cover, the back cover, I actually prefer the back cover. I think the back cover is more cooler for me. Yeah. But well, I'll put a link in the thing in the description as well because I did a click look at this where I went through all of the all of the um, the comics. But this is my most wanted covers. So there's three rules here. The first rule is the covers have to be from comics. They can't be graphic novels or omnibuses. The cover can be from any issue, so it doesn't have to be an issue number one. And the other thing is. I'm only allowed one cover per series. So for instance, inside of here there's well Sweet Paprika, Black, White and Pink is a comic and I loved all of the covers. So I had to pick my favourite. So that, that's quite interesting actually. It's quite interesting what you end up going with. So let's get into this one. And little Freddy the Fox, he <laughs> he's sitting with us. He's gonna behave himself though. No? Let's go and have a look at this. What I do now is I'm going to zoom up close on these and have a look at them in more detail. But first we've got three that didn't make it. So this one is, this one didn't make it because it's a, I'm not sure if it's a comic or a graphic novel. But it's Heavy Metal Volume 2, issue number 3, cover B by Greg Hildenbratt. Now when you look at this one, how beautiful is that? I love it. Now this one would have made the top 10, but because I'm not 100% sure if it's a comic or not, I couldn't put it in there. But I absolutely love that. Again, I think this is going to be a comic I'm going to buy, just for the cover. I love that. The next one that didn't make it, Cinderella vs the Queen of Hearts. Cover B by Geordie Tarragona. And this one didn't make it because I actually picked a different cover for this. So what I like about this one is I like this bit here with the I like the style of Cinderella and the rat. But I'm not hundred percent keen on the the Queen of Hearts in the background. I feel like if that background was all black, I would have picked that cover. But I really like this one. So that one didn't make it either. This one also didn't make it. Sweet Paprika, Black, White and Pink, issue, well it's a one shot, cover D, by Arthur De Pins. Now this one didn't make it because I picked a different Sweet Paprika. I picked a different cover. But this one's by Arthur De Pins. Now I've actually done a click look at one of Arthur De Pins art books. And what this this one here has exactly what I love about Arthur the Pins. The characters are cool. He's like really cool at doing characters. And look, there's a little hint of sexiness there with her bra. Like the lacy bra she's got going on. So I like that one. And it was very close between this one and the sweet paprika that got in. But what I noticed about this was... All of these sweet paprika, black, white and pinks, they've all got beautiful covers. So really any of them could have made the top 10. Let's get into the top 10. So in 10th position we've got Hairball, issue number 1, cover B by artist Martin Simmons. Now this is a comic I'm actually going to buy and like get it every every issue of it for reading but it's also got cool covers look how menacing that cat is and then you've got this child and what I like about this one is well this is by the artist Matt Kint who actually I've got some of Matt Kint's art books not not his art books his comics he did one called Mind MGMT Mind Management and what I fell in love with was the style of his of his artwork 
But what I love about this cover here is the way that tail is going around her neck. So it's almost like you can feel that that tail is about to strangle her. And I like the way it's like the the cat's in her head or something. But you should look into this comic. If it's all about this this cat is basically like haunting her or something. It's gonna be cool, I think. I think that's gonna be a really good comic for reading. And that's issue number one. And in ninth we've got Cinderella Queen of Hearts, issue number one cover D by the artist Pirella Pierre Luigi. Abondanza. Yeah, <laughs> cool name. What I love about this is I love the colours, the way you got blue and the blue and the red, it just pops. And I always love it when the cover is focused on the character. So really it's all about the character. But when you zoom in close on this, look at it's got like there's like motion. And you can sort of feel her it feels like her hair is like about to whip somebody or something. I just think this is such a... I love this cover. So this one actually pushed out one of my other favourites, which was the the one with the um, the rat. It was very close between this one and the rat. But for me, I love... I've always loved covers based on the character because this is very clean and crisp and simple. And... Well, if you compare that version of the Queen of Hearts with the, with that one there, I mean that Queen of Hearts. Look how much, how much more sexier this one is. So that's it. That was in ninth. In eighth position, we've got Disney villain Scar, issue number one, cover A, by Janoy Lindsay. Now, what I love about this is again, it's very simple. It's just very simple. And I love the brush strokes. But I think this is a very a very nicely put together cover. And look at the look at that, it's cool. But for me everything sits nicely there, like the text. And it's not just the shape of the lion, it's the shape of that white shape. Like the white shape is a nice shape as well. So I really like that cover. I don't think I'd buy that. I'd buy that comic for the cover. I'm not sure if I would want to read it. And the only reason is because it says Disney. <laughs> I know it's a bit weird, but I just think that must be... Well, I was going to say a kid's comic, but I'm not sure. But I like the, I like the cover. So the next one in seventh position... Dead Romans, issue number two, cover B, by Nick Marinkovic. Now, th- what I love about this is, I can't work out whether she is almost like having an orgasm, at having killed all these people, or if she is in pain. She's just been stabbed and killed or something, and she's in that final moment of dying. So what it does is, it makes me think that the... Like pain and pleasure, it's almost like they're the same sensation. What I like about this one though is the the colours of it and everything's jagged and sharp and makes it feel dangerous. I really, I really love this one. Look at the style of it. All the, everything's just got like a squigginess to it. Which makes it feel quite aggressive. And yet, because she's there, you've got like, I don't know, it feels aggressive, but also sexy. So I was in seventh position. In sixth, we've got Barbarella, The Centre Cannot Hold, issue number three, cover C, by Brebo Vagonti. What I like about this is the retro vibiness of it. It feels like something out of the 70s. And for me, I like the lighting. I like the lighting, the composition. I like her outfit as well. She's very sexy. But she's sexy, but she feels quite 
like a normal girl as well. Doesn't feel like a a superhero. Yeah, she feels like the girl next door. I like that. I've said this before as well. I love the Barbarella logo. The way they've put that, as cool it is. And in fifth position, we've got Gretel Mortal Vices, a one-shot cover D by Ian MacDonald. <laughs> Ian MacDonald had a cover, and it was in fifth position. What I like about this again is, again, this is one when you zoom in and close on it, you really see the beauty of it. And this is a thing, when you look at these covers in the catalogue, you can't really see how beautiful some of them are. So it makes me wonder, how many covers have I not looked at which I would fall in love with, but because the little thumbnail in the comic, in the catalogue is so small, I never get to see it. But I love this one. I love the lighting on this. And she's so sexy. Another sexy one. I believe this is by Xenoscope. 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 <laughs> the publisher. But I like that one. And then the next one in fourth position. Ah. Punchline issue 15 cover B by the artist Andre Lee. Now look at this one. Look. You think it looks sexy? You think it looks sexy like that? It's actually a wraparound cover. For me, I think this could end up being the the most beautiful wraparound cover ever. So I love me video games. What I like about it what I like about this is there's loads going on, but it feels somehow it's not out of control. And all these characters, they're all cool. So this makes me this makes me want to actually read this comic. Because if it's full of these characters, they look they look fun. <laughs> look, he's wearing 3D glasses, eh? That little um, rabbit thing. So that is beautiful. That's one of my favouritest covers. I really want to buy it, but it's about... It's quite an expensive one, this. It's about £10. I did look into it. And then the next one, in... Well, this is in third position. The Neighbours. So we're into the top three now. This is Neighbours. <laughs> Everybody needs good neighbours. Issue number two, cover C, by Zoo or Orzy. This is another one of those where it's nice and simple. Yeah, the main thing I love about this one was the way there's like, if you look at it, there's almost like two images in one there. You've got her wearing an outfit, but so if you look at if you look at her, this is like an optical illusion. If you look at her face and come down, it looks like she's wearing a red outfit. But if you look, start at the bottom and look at the skull, you see a skull. Whereas if you start at the top of her head and work down, you don't qu you don't really see the skull. So I like the way this is quite sort of trippy, I suppose. And look at her, look at her expression as well. That's cool. Also, like the way the background isn't tidy; it's all messy. I like that one. So we're into the top two now, and in second place we have Sweet Paprika, Black, White, and Pink. This is a one shot, and I went with Cover C by the artist Mayako Sozo. So this one actually beat out the other ones. This one beat half of the pins and that one with the where I had to blur out the nipple. The reason I went with this one was look at that. I like the way they've done the little those little like dots, like what they do on the mangas. But I love this one.
It's cool. Look, look at that hair, look, it's just squiggles. I like I like the way it's it is pink, white and black. So it's kind of like it's like realistic y but also anime type sort of thing. So I like the style of it. And I think she looks very sexy. Naughty, but sexy. <laughs> so that means the first... Now, what I was going to say was, actually, this one here in third position, number three, it moved up the list the most. So it's, this one started out further down the list, but the more I looked at it up close, the more I fell in love with it. And what happened was, this one here, second place, was in a battle... This one so very nearly came first, but the fir in the end, number one, I went with Noctera, issue 14, cover A, by the artists Tony S. Daniel and, Mar and Marcella Mayolo. <laughs> but now look, how beautiful is that? I believe I used this one for the thumbnail. And look at that, she's covered in blood. So again, you're sort of thinking, you're sort of thinking, what's going on here? Is she covered in blood because she's just killed a load of people? Is she covered in blood because she's been in a fight? And it's, is it her blood or other people's blood? Then you've got this lighting, which is unbelievable. And I also like the way, again, it's quite simple. But there's a real... There's a real sort of intense look in her eyes. I don't know. For me, I've, it makes me fall in love with this character. And I want to know more about her. So that was it. That one there. And this one, was, this one came from nowhere for me. Because I actually thought... I actually thought... What was it? What The one I thought was going to win. Well, I thought it was going to be one of these sweet paprikas. I remember when I went through the... Previews 413 with me click look. I remember this one really popping out at me and also the neighbours one. But a lot of these covers they sort of came from nowhere to be honest. So th there they all are together and I love putting them all together like that. When you see them all together it gives you a better idea of the position of like that's when I start moving things around. So it's a very beautiful bunch of comic book covers this month. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Look at my most wanted comic book covers from issue 413 of the previews comic shop catalogue. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. But as you can see here, look, inside of the catalogue, the cover for the one that won, for the number one cover, look how small it is. Now, but even, even when it's that small, you can still see how beautiful it is. But it's really when you get up close on the computer and look at them in detail, they look amazing. But it's even more amazing when you hold them in your hand. Yeah, that's what she said. But well, I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a look at my most wanted comic book covers from previews 413. And please let me know in the comments as well which ones are your favourites. Because I'm always interested. But until next one, I'll see you later for another one. Look at that finger down there, look. See that finger? <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? And this is one of the ones that didn't make it. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly go through some of the comics I was thinking about that I, I really liked, but they didn't make the top ten. So we've got this one here, which is an alternative cover. There is a... One of the hairballs did make it into the top 10. I really like this one though. But I like the other one a bit better. This one, beautiful. I really love that one. Then we've got this one, beautiful. If you want to know the names of any of these, let me know in the comments. And I'll get them. Sweetie Candy Vigilante. I love that one. It's cool. This one was beautiful. When you see... I like the expression, but it just didn't make the top 10. This one didn't make the top 10 either. This is a Cinderella. 
Hey look, there's another one here with the arms, <laughs> detached body parts. This one didn't make it because one of the other ones made it. Dead Romans. I really like this one. Dejartoris. Dejartoris didn't even make the top ten this month. Which is quite amazing. And this is this is a Lyrics one as well. This one here. I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> I like the style of it though. Frankie and Ghost. I always like it when you get a double act. Hey, look at that, a double act. Da -da -da. What I mean is like the um the character and the I like it when you get a human with a animal. I think it's cool. Gargoyles Disney and Dynamite. I like this one as well. It's almost like positive and negative. This is I think this is a Grim Fairy Tales one. The only reason I didn't pick this one because it felt to me like there was a little bit of something weird going on with her her arm. Like the shape of that arm is a little bit weird. So that was like distracting me that. Otherwise I think that would have made the top ten. This is another nice one. Hex Hex where? I think both of these didn't make it, but I like the I feel like this is a comic I'd like to read. But the covers didn't quite make the top ten. Skull and Bones. This is based on a Ubisoft video game that's coming out soon, I think. But I like the style of this one. It's got a nice style. Oh, this one. Legend Fell. This reminds me of the video game Gauntlet from the 80s. I really like that one, but it didn't make the top ten either. Love Everlasting. This is a beautiful cover. Again, it just didn't quite make it. I like the lighting on that one. The Magic Order 4. This one, we got a coloured one and a black and white one. I still can't decide which one I like better. But I think I'm going to say the black and white one. But it didn't. this one didn't make the top ten. I got hiccups. But I love this character here and I like the style of it. This one I thought was really sexy, but for me it felt a little bit, it felt a bit too polished in a strange way. I can't explain it, but it felt, too, it needs a bit roughing up that one. This is a nice one, I like the lighting on that one. It's cool. Oh, this is beautiful, this one. This is Neighbours, issue, is it issue, issue two. This one didn't make it because another one made it. But I, lo I love the way they've done that. That's very cool. I think that's a cover I'm going to end up buying. This one, I like this one, but it's a bit confusing. But that's what I like about it. But this one didn't make it because another one of this made it. Like a variant made it. I like this one as well. Reminds me of a video a video game, this one. This one as well. This is called Ram God, and this this is these are two variants of the same comic. This one here reminds me a bit of an anime. I like that one. Silence. This makes me think of um, Poyo Poyo. That animation, Studio Ghibli. Scorched. I like that one, but I thought there was too much going on. Ah, oh, this is... I love this one. I had to blur out the the nipples on this one. <laughs> but what I like about this is how simple it is and clean and crisp. But this one didn't make it either because there's a... Another Sweet Paprika got into the top ten. So I can only have one of each in the top ten. This one's cool as well. I believe these two are variants of, I think it's Grim Fairy Tales. Another Grim Fairy Tales. I like those. Tales of Valcania, issue number one. That is cool. Look at the, look at the way you can feel her like running at you. This one is actually a, a print. I think you get this print free with a comic or something. 
special edition. But I like, I like the style of that one. Vampirella Strikes. No Vampirellas in the top 10 either. Which is quite surprising. And World TR33. This one's the comic that's on the cover of the previews catalog. So that didn't make it either. So those ones didn't make the top 10. 